Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. I am David, this is Addie, and this is Ethan. And today we're gonna to be giving you our budget gift guide. So this is for those who wanna be able to give great gifts, but don't necessarily have the coin to back it up. And we're gonna make this quick. We're gonna make this super fast today, because as you can tell, Addie might be a little bit cold. So she's gonna give me 20 seconds with each item. Ethan's gonna keep changing out items for me. I'm gonna give you my best in 20 seconds, and we're gonna to try to keep this one quick. So here we go. All right, so this is called the Thermopop 2. This is an instant read thermometer that you can be able to pull the probe out. And this gives you all kinds of different directional control. You can look at it this way, it's upright, this way it's upright. It's a fast thermometer, maybe not as fast as their flagship Thermopen, but this is a really dynamite th thermometer for like 35 Time. bucks. Next. All right, this is called the Lodge Chainmail Scrubber. And so this thing is actually make, this thing makes it so you can clean cast iron pans uh, without having to get all your your brushes and sponges and things dirty. We use this on all of our cast iron to keep it clean. It's probably 10, 12 bucks, somewhere around that, that price point, but this is really great for keeping your cast iron clean. Time. All right, thermometers. If you're looking for a thermometer and you're saying, hey, I don't want to spend as much to buy a fireboard, uh, check out this one from Thermapro. This is a two channel Bluetooth thermometer and it gives you two separate probes to be able to keep your meat temperature and even your air temperature if you want to in your grill. But this is going to be a little bit more than that $35 point. Time. Or if you're looking for four channels, you can look at this one. This is a Bluetooth with four channels on there. And the four channels that you have gives you uh, four different color-coded probes, which I like. And as well as the probes themselves are stainless, which I like those, they clean up easy. But check time. this one out. Oh, I don't have more time. All right, next. <laughs> Okay, so if you have probes and you have some kind of a wireless meat thermometer, I love these probe spools from Therm Thermoworks. And these things are magnetic. So if you look, they, they magnetize together and we can stack these, keep these in a drawer. But all you do is you stick the end in, wind it around, and then it hugs the end as well. It works for both the air temp and the meat temp probes. Time. I like those. All right, this is called the Scrub It. This scrub it is one of the things that I really like to clean my grill with. And it makes it, it's best to use when it's cold, when your grill is cold, not when it's hot. But this really gets in there between all of the grates and gets that really nice and clean. Uh, I like the scrub it, really nice, nice cleaner. Ha ha ha, I beat you. <laughs> Ty. <laughs> okay, next up is a spatula. This is from OXO or Good Grips. This spatula is the one that we use that we like the best around here. We'll probably do a spatula head to head at some point, but for now, this is the one that I really enjoy. So I like using this on the grill. I've even used this on the griddle a couple of times, I'm just gonna be honest, but I like this spatula, Time. it's pretty cheap. Now, the tongs from OXO as well, uh, these I like that you can lock them, they have a nice wide grip on them, gives you some nice control. Uh, you can lock them when you're not using them, but I like even when they're locked, you have more tight control. These are really, really nice. They won't break the bank. If you're gonna buy some tongs or a spatula, get these. <laughs> Okay, next is a butane torch. I use this butane torch as much as I use anything here at the lab. I use this to light a bunch of fires, especially if I'm doing something that's not like needing a grill gun or a, a huge blowtorch. Um, it just uses little butane fuel like this. So if you know someone who has one of these, get them a refill. These things are pain in the butt to source. Get them one of these, Hi. get them one of these. Great thing. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, these are the Cuisinart prep and serve trays. These trays, you can see, they stack nicely up against each other. The red is for raw meat. The black is for cooked meat. So I'll go ahead and bring the red tray out with raw meat out to the grill. Then once I'm done with that and I'm ready to bring it back in, stack it like this, chuck them in the dishwasher. Easy way to prep and Time. serve. All right, next up, I'm gonna use these. These are called the no cut gloves. I have a pair that the kids use. So this is a kid size pair. I also have a set that I use. These no cut gloves make it so that when you wear it and you're using a knife, you can go ahead and hit your hand with that knife. It's not gonna cut through this glove. It has some nice lining inside to make sure you're Time. not gonna cut through your hand. All right, next. <clears throat> These are cotton glove liners. These cotton glove liners are what I wear whenever I'm working out at the grill and I need to make sure that I'm not gonna burn my hands or do anything that's gonna you know, get me in trouble. The problem is, is that these gloves can actually get really, really dirty and moist and wet. So that's where the next thing comes in and I'm gonna segue into that. <clears throat> these are called nitrile gloves. 
These nitrile gloves are what you put over your cotton glove liners to make sure that your, glo your cotton gloves don't get nice and moist and messy. Um, these are a great combination though. Cotton glove liners and some nitrile gloves Time. combo together. Next. Fire starters are a great uh, gift. These are, uh, they are very tumbleweed like in nature, but these little fire starters are what we use to start that fire pit, uh, as well as other fire pits, pizza ovens, grills, all kinds of things. I love that this comes in a gigantic box of these because it seems like I'm always running out. Great gift for someone at Christmas. Time. All right, next is the spray bottle. This is the spray bottle that I put all kinds of different uh, marinades and basting, uh, basting liquids in. I also put just water in it whenever I'm using the grill, especially when I'm using the offset grill and I've got multiple proteins going on. I'll put my liquid in here that I'm using to keep things moist, spray it down using a pressure to keep it going. Nice little spray Time. bottle. Next. Okay. Goo Gone. This is my grill and grate cleaner. I find that this works great not only just on the grates themselves, but it works on the inside of the grill really well. Uh, this is a cleaner that I would recommend for anyone who has a grill that likes to keep it nice and clean, but doesn't want to go through all the effort. Spray this on, give it a couple minutes to lather up and foam up, and this is a really great cleaner. So great Stop. gift. All right. <clears throat> Next up. Yukon Glory. This is a grill light from them. And if you look, there's a button right here where you turn it on. Oops. Oh, the battery's dead? Nope, there it is. Okay. You can see it. <laughs> can't, see it. <laughs> can't, see it in the, can't see it in the day. But this grill light is very, very flexible, has a nice clamp here, as well as it's magnetic. You can put this on your grill. It will magnetically stick. Time. Great light. All right. <clears throat> These are what we call pork racks or chicken racks. These are just little wire racks that I use on different grills. I love my candy bacon chicken bites. We'll put all of those all over these racks, slide it onto the smoker and use it that way. This is great for chicken thighs, pork butts, moving things around the grill. These are cheap, but everyone who has a grill or likes to smoke needs some of these. Time. All right. <clears throat> These are kebabs. This is a nice little package of kebabs. If you know someone who likes to grill and or smoke and doesn't have a good set of kebabs, you can get a set like this. It's not going to break the bank. This is something that everyone needs. I like the nice little uh, spin on the metal here to be able to keep, keep things on there. But this is a nice little kebab that we use. It's a nice pack of, you know, say 10, 15 of them. Time. Great for stockings. Okay. This is, I call this a FIFO bottle. I don't know if it's really what it's called. It's a first in, first out bottle, meaning that whatever you put in first is gonna make sure it comes out first. And so this is what I use for a bunch of different sauces, for different tacos, for different pieces of meat that I use on, but I really like this bottle. Everyone should have at least two or three of these. I like the yellow lid, by the way. Okay, this is a pancake dispenser. This is, you fill this with pancake batter on the top. It's not very hard. You just take your pancake batter, stick it down on here, and then you pull this lever and it releases the pancake batter on the bottom. This is really, really great when you're using a griddle outside and you need to be able to have great control over pancakes. This dispenser, love it. Time. All right, <clears throat> this is what we call a dredge shaker. And there's different color lids you can get. I like yellow for barbecue. You can get different colors of green and I can't remember what else. But the whole idea is you put your rub in here and then you've got better coverage than you'll get out of a lot of those shaker jars that you get. Keep one of these, make your own rubs and spices, throw it inside. These are great. You should Time. definitely have one. Woo! All right, <clears throat> this is called the corn stripper. While it has a terrible name, it is a great product. This allows you to be able to take your corn and stick your, stick your corn cob through here, pull it all the way through, and it gets all of the kernels off in one fell swoop. It's really, really nice to have around, especially come corn season. And uh, this is something that makes a great gift for probably under Time. 10 bucks. This is called the hog lifter. And why is it called the hog lifter? Because it'll lift everything up to a pork butt. Bone in pork butt with this, no problem. I use this all the time whenever I'm working with big proteins and I forgot to use a pork or chicken rack like I showed you earlier. This thing won't break the bank, but it is a huge spatula. And someone who doesn't have one would time. love it. All right, this is a mini, a mini spice grinder. And the idea is you have your spice mill in here. I mean, you have your spices in here and then you just grind it like that. It's a great little spice grinder. I use this as the final layer that we have when we're doing pork or chicken or something. And I wanna put a nice grind on top. This is so cool and I love using it. So I'd recommend it to anybody. Time. All right, this is Capital City Mambo Sauce. This is one of the best selling sauces on Amazon. And this right here is called a wing sauce. 
I use it on more than just wings. But if you haven't, if you if you're game to give a, a sauce that you've never tried before that you'd like to try and expand their sauce horizons, uh, this is a really good one that I think I'd recommend. Give it a shot. You usually get a two pack when you buy. So this is time. Next. Whoo! All right, it's not exactly under $35, but it's really close. I love the Mesa from Solo Stove. It's a tabletop fire pit. The kids love it. You can have, you can even get these little marshmallow sticks to be. Able, you can do regular sized marshmallows, <laughs> but we couldn't find them. But this is a cool gift to be able to give and check it out on the Solo Stove website. We'll put a link down below. Time. Oh, Another gift I really like is the scraper spatula for those who like griddles. If you have someone who has a Blackstone or has a Traeger or has pick your favorite type of griddle, this is a really great tool to be able to, be able to work with spat to be able to work with smash burgers or even clean the griddle. This is probably under ten bucks. These things are great. Um, really like this. I suggest that this is Time. a great gift. All right, one last gift idea, and I know that this isn't exactly under thirty-five dollars. But if you're looking to give a grill this year and you want to wow somebody, think about giving them a Weber kettle. Now this Weber kettle is one of the more premium kettles, but they also have standalone kettles that you can get that won't break the bank. I don't know anybody who likes to grill or barbecue that doesn't love a Weber kettle grill because of their versatility, and that'd be a great gift. Even do them a favor and assemble it for them because assembling grills is not fun. Time. Give them the greatest gift of assembling it for them. Time. All right. So I'm out of time. I've gone through all these gifts and those are some great ideas. I want to thank Addie and I want to thank Ethan for being a part of this. If you want to find out any of these gifts, if you want to find out where they are, look in the description below. Time. We'll have uh, we'll have all the links down there for you, okay? Time. Thanks for helping us out. We'll catch you later next time, time. right here on the Barbecue time. Lab. Time.